It's nine minutes to four. Today we have been remembering what happened nine years ago at the Pentagon in New York City and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. We have uh, some indication of uh, fire and smoke at the Pentagon right now. WTOP's Neil Augenstein. Uh, Neil, are you... Uh, can, you hear me? can you tell us what you see at the Pentagon now? Mike, can you hear me? Mike. Yes, 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 I can. Neil Go. Augenstein, you're live on the air. Tell us what you see at the Pentagon. Okay, I'm standing right on uh, what is it, 395, right by the Boundary Channel Drive exit, looking across to the Pentagon, seeing heavy, heavy smoke. That was WTOP's Neil Augenstein, September the 11th, 2001, and Neil joins us now live. Neil, how did you happen to be where you were at that moment that you gave that report? Well, Rosemary, after the second plane hit the World Trade Center and it was announced that flights were canceled going in and out of New York, News Director Mike McMurdy decided that I should go to the airport because flights, of course, here would also be affected. So I headed for, for Reagan National. As I was parking there, I looked over the trees of Crystal City and saw smoke and thought to myself, no way. But uh, I saw an airport authority police officer with his radio to his ear, and he said a plane did just go into the Pentagon. So, of course, I got back in my car and headed toward the Pentagon while trying to reach the newsroom on the phone. You'll remember that um, it was tough, if not impossible, to get a cell phone signal that day. When I got near Gravelly Point, I pulled over and jumped on the hood of my work car to, to try to see over the trees. But I still couldn't see the Pentagon itself, so I didn't actually have enough information to do a live report. Um, by the time I took that exit that uh, dumps you out onto 395 South, I could finally see that the Pentagon was on fire and eventually got through to the newsroom. Um, we didn't talk about it that day, but we had a brand new phone system at WTOP, and nobody in the newsroom really yet knew how to put a phone call on the air. Uh, so pe when people were calling in, they were being hung up on by mistake. Uh, eventually, we were able to get it through. Eventually, Mike Moss, uh, the anchor in the morning, threw it to me. I, I wasn't sure if they were able to hear me as the sirens were roaring past me. Uh, Richard Day told me that I was on the air, so I began describing what I could see, which was, of course, the smoke. Uh, remember, I, I still hadn't confirmed that a plane had gone into the Pentagon, but I did describe that a police officer said his radio transmission said, yes, a plane had hit the Pentagon. Uh, after my first report, I decided to try to get closer to the Pentagon. Uh, as I was driving on my police scanner, I heard Arlington County Police saying that the FAA was warning of a fourth plane that was 15 miles out of D.C. and heading toward D.C., uh, I remember being scared. Uh, I hit the record button on my mini disc recorder in case another plane did hit. Of course, uh, soon after that, we heard that the fourth plane had crashed in Pennsylvania. Neil, what do you remember uh, most about the way people dealt with that tragedy that day? Well, I think what happened the next morning uh, when I got back to the, the Pentagon, the, the entire parking lot had already been transformed into a tent city. Everything from medical tents to dining tents to sleeping areas. It was very important symbolically, you'll remember, for the Pentagon to be open for business the next day. As I talked to employees who were walking from the Pentagon City Metro toward the crash site, I was struck by the determination and the bravery of people who'd lost friends and co-workers and in some cases family the day before, but they refused to let an evil act sway them from their service to their country and their hope to maintain as much normalcy as they could. Thanks so much, Neil Augenstein, for uh, sharing your recollections with us today. Thanks a bunch. That's WTOP's Neil Augenstein looking back nine years ago at 9-11. It's 3.55 on this September the 11th, 2010.